big event going on there on Wednesday. Dean Hunt joins me, who is the chairman of the world's largest children's parade, or at least non-motorized children's parade. <laughs> just started last year, and this is a huge success. Tell us about yeah. it, Dean. Um, well, uh, uh, last year is our first time event. Um, what it is is uh, kids can uh, march in a parade. Um, they all have to do is dress themselves up, paint their faces, um, decorate a wagon or a bike, and they're in the parade. Uh, it's no motor. Uh, it's non-motorized. We don't want any uh, danger and, and uh, uh, no pets or animals in the parade. But uh, um, yeah, it's a, a great event for kids just to have fun. It's a free event for them, uh, and uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, 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 just a uh, fantastic turnout. Uh, last year we were planning last year for maybe. We were hoping for a couple hundred kids. Mm -hmm. uh, we ended up with 1,200. Wow. So <laughs> really took off on us. That's great um, for our first year, I'll yeah, tell you. Yeah, and it's coming up. It's going to be next Wednesday. Uh, the parade will actually start at 6 o'clock. We'd like people to get there by about uh, 5.15, uh, start uh, lining up and, and uh, getting ready. Um, bigger and better this year. And, uh, and uh, right now we at, uh, we're probably at about 1,200 kids registered at this point uh, with still a... Uh, uh, you know, a few days to go before the event. So that is just a, a fantastic idea. That w uh, does the money go anywhere? Does it yeah? I'm something? sorry. Yeah, the, the the parade itself uh, is benefiting the Building for Kids Children's Museum in, in downtown Appleton. So all the money we raise through sponsorships, uh, we're going to be selling food at the event. Um, uh, after the parade, we do have a reception. Uh, we actually are uh, raffling off some tickets for uh, two round trip tickets to Orlando oh. this year, so we're going to be selling those tickets. So all that money that uh, isn't spent in putting the event on goes back to the building for kids and for it, future events. And if kids are, are, or the parents are watching right now, how do they get involved? Do they just register? Uh, bu uh, buildingforkids.org. Uh, you can go on, online and register, or you can call uh, the building for kids in Appleton and uh, register uh, through there through the phone. And and to give credit where credit's due, you kind of. Dude, we all say was inspired by the I was, idea. I, was, I grew up, yes, yeah, Oshkosh, yeah, I right? was raised in Oshkosh. Oshkosh has a children's parade that they've been putting on for 76, 77 years at this point. Uh, so a long, long time parade. I grew up doing it, and yeah. uh, I have a five-year-old daughter, so that was my inspiration for putting the parade on in Appleton now that I live in Appleton. And I wanted her to have the same experience of uh, getting together with kids and building floats and marching down, uh, yeah. down College Avenue. Sounds so. like a great time. Yeah, it is going to be a great time. Well, thanks, Dean, All and right, thank uh, you. congratulations on the first year, and, and I'm sure that this second year will be great, too. It's already uh, a success. It's uh, going on Wednesday, 6 p.m. There's the information. You want more information? All you got to do is go to our website, fox11online.com, and click on Good Day Wisconsin. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.